Did you see how he just did it? Yeah. All right, how, good to go. how it really just resounded out <laughs> through the room. <laughs> you try one. No, I don't want to clap with one hand. I'll hold your mic. No. Because you saw how a man clapped. <laughs> <laughs> Booze has a fucking grown-up ass clap. Yeah, pretty much. Sound like slapping two wet pieces of bologna together when you clap. Yeah. All right. Should we hop into it? Yeah, yeah. All right. <coughs> Let me pull up the time and the date. Oh, it's Valentine's Day. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Son of a Boy Dad Podcast. Today is February 14th. It's 9.30 a.m. We're in Cincinnati. Eastern Standard. Um, is it, are we on some central time? No, it's Eastern. Okay, yeah. Eastern Standard. Um, yeah, we're in Cincinnati. Won't be in Cincinnati shortly. <laughs> or ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Probably ever again. This is your last Cincinnati experience, and we're never, we're never ever coming back. Unless our boy Joe Burrow takes us back to the Super Bowl next year, <laughs> which won't happen. Even if so, we're, n- we're not fucking coming back. They no. were supposed to riot for us. They didn't. They didn't give us anything. They were suppo- supposed to burn down the town for daddy, and they fucking didn't do it. No. As soon as they lost. So we were out here because they were in the Super Bowl, and we were trying to catch a party. And as soon as they lost, everybody was like, ah, it's okay. Yeah. They were we so didn't want to win anyway. They were so cool with it. They were like, ah, we, we made it this far. <laughs> It was loser talk. Yeah, yeah. First loser. Dude, I, I did not think that about Cincinnati. I was like, oh, Cincinnati's like Cleveland. Cincinnati's like Philly. Cincinnati's this hard-nosed, blue-collar yeah. town. Like, nah, we don't care about winning and losing. We're just I, – I was I was disappointed in the in the general feel of Cincinnati after that. Yeah, no, they didn't give a fuck. Yeah, um, nor did they riot. We were handing out Molotov cocktails. We put a pallet of blicks, <laughs> bricks right by a bank. and <laughs> We were trying to get the riot going and nothing. They wouldn't do anything. It didn't take. The riot didn't take. It was like fucking. Yeah, it just and they, some of them were even like, hey, man, the Rams played their asses off. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. It's like, who says that when you guys just when you lost? Right when you lost. And it was right afterwards. Yeah, literally m- one minute after they lost. They didn't take one second to like fall to their knees and no. scream to the ground like when. Trump got inaugurated. No, they didn't <laughs> like, give a fuck. Like the libs. When and Trump everyone said the Rams didn't give a fuck. I think the Rams might have cared more than the Bengals fans. I know. It's bullshit. Yeah. Even the Browns fans. There were more people who were Browns fans that were like, we never even gave a fuck. Like, yeah. we care about the Browns. We care yeah. about... It's tough for, tough for Cincy. You were in, quick in, quick in, uh, quick out. Didn't even get chilly. No, it was... Oh, no, we didn't get chilly. I thought you meant didn't get chilly physically. It was oh. fucking freezing outside. Yeah, you were yeah. crying at one point. Yeah. <laughs> but the tear froze on your cheek. Yeah. <laughs> you look like Mr. Freeze or some shit. Yeah, it was brutal. Um, Yeah, it's been a very long week. Yeah. I, did you feel like you've been going through it? Do you feel like you kind of need a little bit of a break? Yeah. Like, I don't want to go to work ne- the rest of the week. Yeah. I'm and fucking it, exhausted. In some ways, you shouldn't have to. In some ways, you should be able to take off because you went right from L.A. to out here. But in some ways, like, you haven't actually done any work. I know. <laughs> I haven't been home in over a week, though. It's yeah. A time Dude, when was the last time you hopped on Apex with the boys? Not o- over a week. <laughs> You're going to be rusty as fuck. I know. And I was going to bring my PlayStation to L.A. And I wish I did because all I did on Saturday was just sit in my room. Cause You're going to forget Nick, all your Navy SEAL signals that I you know. fucking learned. Because <laughs> KB and Nick refused to do anything on Saturday. Yeah. Do they not like doing shit? I don't know. They were both being little pussies. I feel like sometimes they don't they don't love to do shit. I feel like we really KB don't. will disappear and Nick will just uh, like he'll like give it all in whatever content he's doing. And then afterwards, he'll just have like emotionally exhausted himself. Yeah. I just need. Yeah, uh, I think Nick was super exhausted. Me and KB wanted to get food, but Nick wouldn't even eat. He wouldn't even come with us to get food. Really? Yeah. So I ended up just Uber Eats saying, I think I'm just going to order some. some yeah, products. that's exactly what happened. <laughs> so I had to Uber Eats. I literally barely, like, dude, my mind went to places on Saturday that it's never gone before. What do you Ang- mean? Just pure anger. You were angry? Just angry at nothing the whole time. What was it? What was the anger from? If I woke up really... furious. You woke up mad? Yeah, because I, cause I, I didn't go out on Friday. Right. Purposely because I was going to go on this hike on Saturday. You basically built your whole trip around this around hike. This hike, yeah. You were about to fucking walk. Dude. And Friday was the last day on that everyone incline. was there. Friday was the last day that everyone was there, and like everyone was going out. And I was like, you know, what? I'm going to go to bed early because I got to wake up at seven to go on this hike. 
and just prepare yourself mentally, physically, just lock into this yeah. fucking hike. That's go- I mean, it was going to be transformative. Just a little bit it of exercise. Was a seven mile hike. Touching grass, dude. Yeah, it was a seven mile hike, and it was a steep one too. I think the elevation gain was like six thousand feet or something. Where was it? Runyon Canyon or Griffith Absor- Observatory, or was it? No, somewhere no, else? it was far out. It was like an hour and a half away. I think it was called Strawberry Peak Trail. Forever, bro. And it looked so sick. Damn. And uh, so, so you did? Did you go out there? Did you wind up making it on? No, the No, because I. So you can rent a car on Uber. I never knew that. Yeah. And uh, so I did that, set up my reservation. Okay. My reservation was for 9 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Had you already been angry at this point? No. So you weren't angry when you woke up? Well, it took... It, but then as soon as I did it, I was like... I, I looked at the p- terms and service, like policies, and I was like... I was like, it says... Um, you weren't old enough to rent a car, basically. Basically, yeah, but it said, but it said, like, if you're in, it said little boys can rent cars, <laughs> but said, as a little boy, they yeah. didn't let you rent the car. Yes, exactly. It said 21 to 24 pay a late fee. I'm not 21 yet, and then it said if you're under 21, uh, you still may be able to rent a car in some areas. So I'm calling like a hundred different uh, customer service lines, and all of them are like just pulling up exactly what I read, and I'm like, okay, so clearly these people aren't even in LA. They're somewhere in fucking. Alaska right now in a tent. Yeah, it was outsourced to India. Yeah, and yeah exactly. Like getting paid horrendous wages to yeah. not care about what you're asking. Yeah, about. exactly. And then I canceled it with Uber. I downloaded Zipcar. Zipcar, I would have been able to do, but they... Why not just get get an Uber to where you're going? Nah, I didn't want to do that. It was an hour and a half. Yeah, that would have been expensive as fuck in L.A. No, it really wasn't. Oh, so then why did you not want to do it? Because it was like through the... through like It was like not really... It, on a street it was like through this like beat path and i'm, yeah. like, I'm not trying to make an uber driver go through here and they it's get their like, job lost. though yeah I would and they have gps by myself yeah you just and wanted to be alone you wanted to be alone with yeah. nature and and then i couldn't imagine having to get down from the hike and waiting <laughs> like how long like no uber would have picked me up from there <laughs> yeah that would have been terrible that was the, the main thought i was like there's no one's going to be driving out to the middle of nowhere to pick me up that's why you need like a little bit of an accountability buddy when you're going on your hikes. You need someone a to make sure that you that strapped up, make sure you don't run into a fucking mountain lion or yeah. something like there. But b just someone who can chaperone you there, just someone who can be. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of did need a little bit of a chaperone. No, I didn't, dude. Like I was. You getting, couldn't make it because you were too young. I know, and I was getting DMs from people being like, "Yo, dude, uh, what, what, what hike are you doing? Like, I'll do it with you. I can drive." <laughs> And I was like, what would, like, thanks for the offer, but, like, why would I ever go on a hike with a stranger for seven hours? Especially one who, like, knows everything about you, and yeah. you know nothing about them. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. power struggle is a little bit yeah. unbalanced there. They have all the cards. Yeah. And, like, at best case scenario, they're like, what's Dave like? And, like, why won't Erica yeah. give you a raise? And then worst case and scenario it- is they chop me up into a thousand pieces yeah that it's like we're uh, gonna be out in the middle of nowhere with like no service or anything did you ever watch the movie alpha dog no bro you're missing out a it's a true story b justin timberlake's in the movie oh fuck and c a fucking kid gets kidnapped oh man. just about your big age three. <laughs> yeah it <laughs> is the perfect film yeah but i mean at the end of the movie there, there's a, a hike is involved at some point and a guy gets killed on the hike damn it's a fucking heavy spoiler yeah. that i just dropped because he is like the main character of the movie <laughs> um, i spoiled the fuck out of that movie yeah you did yeah but it, it's pertinent the hiking and it came out fucking 10 years ago bro oh. 10 years plus ago, can't spoil bro. a movie that came out that long ago yeah they could have had their fucking chance they to watch it yeah they had their time so you just sat there fuming in la like well you couldn't this even went on for like two hours just trying to get a... I downloaded like a hundred apps. I was using Turo, which I, I couldn't use because I didn't have... My insurance rate was too low or something. And you have to have like a good credit score to fucking yeah. rent cars. Like the first time I lived in LA, my credit score was fucking terrible. It still probably is. Yeah. Credit scores are bullshit. But uh, the first time I lived out there, I couldn't rent a car. I was just trying to go like anywhere. Yeah. You're trapped in LA. Yeah, I was... Like you I can't was, go any, You can't walk anywhere. anywhere. You can't rent a car. No. There's nothing, like, easily accessible. No. And Even I, the hills are fucking... Yeah, prohibited. everything I downloaded, it would be like, like, oh, Get Around was the one that I really was like, damn, it, it's finally gonna work. 
like I finally got a car. And then I'm like, I like set, put in all my credit card information, everything, and I'm checking out. What number did you put in? <laughs> and I'm checking out, and it's just like, uh oh, looks like you're too young. <laughs> and I was like, fuck you, dude. And it literally says that you have to be 16 or older to rent cars on that app. Well, well, how could, hear me out, but why did you not falsify your information? Because they, because you have to scan your license. And oh, shit. they yeah. take, they like take a full. They picture take it seriously. Yeah, you have to get like approved for most of the apps too. That's such bullshit, bro. They don't want to see a young brother winning out here, dude. No, so I couldn't do the hike, which was really upsetting because I'm probably not going to be in the area with mountains anytime soon unless I go somewhere and I have to buy my own plane ticket. It's almost like you're kind of asking me quietly if I could take you somewhere, <laughs> which I can, which I, which I can. Do you want to well, come down to Mississippi? Going, uh, no. I guess we're going to, <laughs> I guess we're going, I don't want to go to Mississippi. <laughs> Damn, bro, you didn't, I didn't even tell you what city or anything. I, I guess we're going to, uh, like, Wyoming or some shit, or I guess we probably can't say that. Looks like we just did. <laughs> but we might be going somewhere with Sydney Wells. Yes. We might, we, I, might we don't even actually know if it's Wyoming, though. Yeah, we we were gonna do it was brought up. We were, where were we gonna do? We were gonna do white water raft. White water raft. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's just gonna be sweet till we find out that someone else was promised white water raft. Yeah, I think someone already was. But uh, I mean, I'll, I'll gladly take it from them. <laughs> yeah, I want to do white water rafting. That would be awesome. You want a kayak or you want a white water raft? Um, I think kayaking. Well, I've done whitewater rafting when I was really young. I heard kay is kayaking more dangerous. I think kayaking might be more dangerous. I think you flip over in a you're kayak like and you just into that thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they easily flip. But you also you can get launched from the raft. Really? Pretty easily. Even being locked in? You're not like locked when in. You get in a car accident and people's shoes go flying off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even though they're strapped in, they just get Pretty launched. Pretty much exactly like that. <laughs> Damn. And when you're I, I, one thing I remember from when I did it was when you're drifting down like when you're when you're drifting down the current if you're not in the boat you're supposed to like float so your t feet aren't touching the bottom because if your feet get caught on something and the current the current will just push you just <laughs> no like your feet will be locked in like it was locked into this chair but you'll be but you'll still be moving forward so you'll just like drown basically yeah what the fuck yeah i want to just have a i want to have a float with one or two Splash Mountain like drops that I get to do, and oh. to have like a fucking square ass photo op, that's what I want. Yeah, I mean, there's like hard ones. I, I, w there's like levels of rapids, right? Yeah, it's got to be. Yeah, Black Diamond. Shit that we did was like, I mean, I was really young, but it was crazy. I did that at like a camp. You went with the fam, or you went? You went in a camp? It was a camp. Yeah, yeah. It was sick. That it sounds sick. Yeah, like that shit sounds sick. Being on the water. Yeah, being even, on the water. Even tubing is sick. Tubing is sick, yeah. Just sitting on the water. Tubing is cool if you're a pussy. <laughs> what, bro? You ever wakeboard? No. I, I've never wakeboarded either. So no. What even is I'm just what even is wake chops, What even is wakeboarding? Wakeboarding is like the one where it's like a snowboard on the water. Oh, yeah. I think I tried. I don't think I had the core couldn't strength at up. the time. Yeah. yeah. I think I tried. I think I got like folded in half. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just getting dragged along the fucking water. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was painful. I think the same thing happened to me. <laughs> and I like tried a couple times. I was just like, just let someone else go. Yeah. Let someone else do it. <laughs> it was fucking embarrassing. Whenever you find out you don't have the core strength to do things that like look sweet on the X Games. Yeah. The same thing happened when I tried to do indoor skydiving. Have you ever seen the indoor <laughs> skydiving? And like the people are just like, no, that shit is like whooshing terrifying. up and down. And then I got in and I was just fucking bent in a fucking, <laughs> <laughs> like my legs were up by my ears. That's the guy hilarious. had to like hold on to my arms and he like. Did I you ever like get it? I couldn't like control myself. <laughs> At one point, it was like a Make a Wish Foundation. The guy was like, "We're just gonna take you to the top," and he just like held oh, me as we like no. went How up. How old were you? I was gr I was grown up as fuck. That's bad. I was in my like <laughs> I was in my probably mid twenties, dude. That's like uh one time I was at like a, a f like a carnival fair, I guess, and they have like those one of the things that they have is like the trampoline. And it's like, but it's like a big trampoline, but like you like have, you're like strapped into it so you can like jump super high. Okay. And like there was like a kid before me who did it. And I was like in high school pro or maybe middle school, late yeah. middle school. Yeah. Old enough. Old enough. And there was a little kid, little ass kid going before me and he's doing just backflip after backflip because you can, because it's just like you're like strapped in. So it's like. You're not gonna fly off the edge or anything. Like you're yeah, yeah, yeah. Go up and down. There's no possible way for you to get like back yeah. hurt. Yeah. And then I did it, and I was like, 
dude, it was like I, one of the more embarrassing things <laughs> like ever. <laughs> Did you expect I was, that you'd be able to do backflips? I backflip expected I'd be able to do anything. I just like sat there like lightly jumping, like locked into this thing. Like it was like, a, it was, like you're sitting in like a <laughs> like a baby in one of those yeah, things yeah. there. They like waddle around the yeah, living room. And you're like strapped in, and it's like my like shorts were riding up so much, <laughs> and like my whole family is there watching, and they're like, "You have to jump," and I'm like, "I am jumping." <laughs> it's your fault, Dad, <laughs> yeah. that I don't have the genetics to have yeah. springy legs. Yeah. Dude, it was mortifying. It is crazy how like some kids that I know that are like in high school, like walking by as I'm like <laughs> strapped into this thing, Just covering your yeah. covering your face up. It was mortifying, dude. I don't know why my parents let me do that. Some kids just don't have bounce. Yeah, or just any athletic ability. And I think that's yeah, that's a lot of like bounce and like leg stability. Yeah. Like my my boy Kevin, who's out here, who's a Bengals fan. Like he is like so naturally athletic. Yeah. And he has like a young kid. Uh. uh a, like baby toddler or whatever who's also like already naturally athletic yeah he's yeah. like running he has like a good base <laughs> like strong legs yeah. and shit like that and it's just it really makes you realize how much of it is genetics yeah like there's just nothing that we, like we could have done like i saw a picture of like clayton kershaw and matt stafford the quarterback from the rams and yeah. they played together in in little league and like even as little leaguers like they're like fucking like rock solid yeah, dudes like my baseball pants were like baggy yeah, on me yeah, and shit yeah, like yeah. that like i didn't like oranges like yeah. i wouldn't eat vegetables <laughs> like i was just fucking built the complete opposite way that an athlete yeah. should be built and nothing was emblematic as that as much as our, our fucking basketball game no. this week no. i mean the basketball thing was ridiculous though let's bang an ad out bro bare bottom men's clothing that fucking rocks dude whether it's the, the stretch jogger, the stretch shorts, the tech tee, the hoodie, the loft jogger in the hoodie, everything that bare bottom cooks up. I think they moved them to the front because they just like they know how heavy that we fuck with bare bottom. Oh yeah, bare bottom. All right. Bare bottom is uh like my favorite clothing brand probably in the world. I was doubled up on bare bottom. I was wearing some some lucky bare bottoms underneath my, my pants yeah. last night and um it wasn't the bare bottom's fault that the fucking Bengals lost because those yeah. shits are lucky as hell. Yeah. No, like not even like I just don't. with the ad, like I fucking love bare bottom and I want them to send me more clothes because I wait like I like obviously right not not right now because I've been traveling and my clothes are dirty, but And I, because those pants have a hole in it and bare bottom yeah. literally would never have my a bare hole bottom, in the crotch. My green bare bottom sweatpants, you can look at the yak. I wore them every single day for a whole week. Yeah, you did. Yeah. They're like the nicest sweatpants I've ever had. They look good. Yeah, they do. They're sick. And they like... And I only brought bare bottom shorts. I'm trying to think of how to... I think they fit lots of different body types. Yeah. Or like they f they'll they make an unathletic little bitch like you and me. Yeah. Like kind of look like we could no, cut I on a dime. No, I fly as hell with those yeah, on. Yeah, you look like Apollo Anton. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're made for comfort essentials. Make picking out your clothes a no-brainer. It always feels weird to just genuinely fucking sell the shit out of bare bottom and then hop into the copy. I don't mind reading the copy, but I just I speak from the heart. Oh no, yeah, and the shorts. We we both have the shorts, right? Love the shorts. It's almost short season again. Yeah, I was wearing shirts, mine out in L.A. The shirts make me look jacked. Well, they did at, at a point. Probably not anymore. <laughs> no, they still might. <laughs> That's the true test of bare bottom. Yeah, they can make our sloppy fucking yeah. white winter bodies look like yeah. they're in fucking good shape and tan. Yeah, I got. And you know that that shit's actually magic. I've fully and, let myself go. And the shorts, low key, uh, double as a bathing suit if you need to jump into oh, the water and hole. I, I uh, had to do the wet wheel on the yak with my bare bottoms. They were dry. They were dry the next morning. Didn't even like try to dry them. Yeah. Wore, wore them the next day. I went through the exact same thing. I yeah. was also wearing the bare bottoms on my wet wheel. Check out their latest styles at barebottomclothing.com slash sun and get free shipping on your first purchase. That's barebottomclothing.com slash sun slash sun. Dude, how, did you get a lot of negative feedback from that basketball game? Or did you find it to be very funny? Um, I mean, like, I... Like, any negative feedback I got, I was more, like, confused by because I was, like, I don't think I've ever acted like you were acted good at basketball. Like I was good at basketball and acted like I was good at sports. I think I've been pretty open that I'm not good at sports and I wasn't good at sports ever. And I think I have, too. Yet, people, I, I still felt the, an overwhelming disappointment from the Internet in me. People think that you, uh, <clears throat> people think that you look athletic. And I was actually talking about this with your buddy Mike yesterday. That you won't 
do any athletic things on camera because you because you know you're not athletic. I just did play basketball, and then, did, and then it all cr- it all came crashing down. <laughs> Dude, it's facts. Skeletons came out of the closet. I'm I'm not athletic at all. <laughs> <laughs> I can run for a long time. Yeah, that's not can. even athleticism. That's survival. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can run long distance decently, and I can lift the hell out of some weights. I can. That's it. I could chief on some fucking Chiba. <laughs> I could chief on a fucking Indica for fucking an hour straight. For sure, for sure. I got fucking iron lungs. Hell yeah. I could sit on the Peloton. Uh, I'm trying to think even an athletic thing that I that I have in the fucking, I guess battle rap is going head to head a little bit. A little bit, yeah. You a little tie tie, bro? I'm exhausted. Did you not get enough sleep last night? No, I actually did get a good a good amount of sleep, but it's actually uh it's 5 a.m. my time right now. <laughs> You're still on Cali? Yeah. <laughs> you do kind of look at your eyes could not be redder and could pinker. Could not be more red. <laughs> yeah, why look, are your eyes so red? Oh no, dude. Did you wake up and smoke? I got out of the shower, and I was like, holy shit, they were glowing. Why are they so they red right now? Red. I didn't even notice it till right now. You look like a raccoon that's like looking up over the top I of know. a dumpster who got caught on like a uh, infrared camera or some shit. Dude, it, it, this week have might like this week might take like five years off of my life. Really? I just haven't. That's I, unathletic. I think I've drank water once, maybe like right now, and I've only eaten fried food like burgers and fries and chicken sandwiches it's terrible you need to fucking lock in and get a poke bowl i know i'm gonna Acai go bowl. And just make steam some broccoli are you actually no no you're not you're gonna fucking go home and order some seamless or some bullshit probably i'll order oh, i'm gonna order something healthy do you think that if you were a millionaire several times over you would cook for yourself no i would hire a chef you think drake ever cooks for himself no he has a chef do you think that there's any f- super famous people like that that even cook for themselves as a hobby? People who are just like, I want to enrich my life. Yeah, hundred percent. Like who? Who's one that like think you think, you think cooks for themselves? Um, you think Gordon Zendaya Ramsey? ever cooks for herself? Not probably. Gordon, Ra- uh, bro. That's cheating to pick a fucking chef, bro. Um, yeah, Zendaya probably. I would, yeah. That's what I wonder if, like, you're still adding skills. Or if you get to a point well, where you're like so full, fucking rich that you're just always ordering every meal and eating out every meal. And no, if I had, like, a cook full kitchen and, like, a big-ass fridge and pantries and stuff, I would just, like, stock up this place. and I would just stock up the fridge and cook dinner. You don't think you'd just be like, Griselda, come cook for me? Well, that, I would do that, too. Yeah, no, I would 100%. I'm not saying, no, yeah. I take back everything I just said. I would do that. You if I could were, afford a personal chef, I would get a personal chef. Bro, do you want to get rich? Uh, yeah. Beyond your wildest dreams? <laughs> no, just comfortable. Not by, beyond your wildest dreams? Because I was about to start telling you about cryptocurrency. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to have like people like tracking my flights and shit like Elon Musk. That's the only way for guys like you and me to fucking break out of the fucking... I break out of the system? The cycle of inflation. Yeah. Within nine years, you're going to lose half your money due to inflation. I see those rinky-dink, colorful-ass credit cards that you just dropped out of your wallet. The more cre- <laughs> the more colorful your credit cards are, the more broke you are. Yeah. <laughs> and I know, because my shit looks like the rainbow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, you got, like, the fucking heavy-ass black ones. No, that's my Champs card. That's my, like, <laughs> Champs Penn State card. <laughs> the coolest-looking card I have in my wallet. It's like a metal card to get into a bar that I've been into once. And also, you can't... Doesn't it not even work? The champs card? Or can you like only go in like with just you? You can't bring anyone else in with you? Uh, I think I should be able to bring in other people. No, I don't know. Tyler Miller has it and he went with his buddy and he said that only he was allowed to get in. So he just like didn't go. I think that my champs card is the fucking champs black card, bro. I think he's got the same one. That gets me into champs in every country. I could get into the champs Penn State Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> is champs only a Penn State card? Uh, I'm not sure, honestly. I never had heard of it. I think there might be multiple champs at Penn State. But, uh, yeah, my credit cards are fucking the color of the rainbow. So are yours. What did you think of that halftime show last night? thought it was good. Salute to Eminem, bro. Yeah, but then I saw some shit that was like, Goodell told Eminem not to kneel <laughs> during the during the thing. And he didn't give a fuck. I was wondering why he was kneeling for so yeah, long. There's a picture of him, like, kneeling, like, face palming. <laughs> Yeah. And I was like, God damn. Like, he was he knelt for so long, like, in case they had, like, cut away the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanted to be there when they cut back. Yeah. He was, like, was hanging on to Dr. For? Dre's leg to make sure that they got a shot of him kneeling. Yeah. He was kneeling, I think, for Kaepernick. Oh, really? Yeah. He might as well have been, like, 
protested for Martin Luther King. That yeah. shit happened so fucking long ago, <laughs> yeah, bro. Do no. something a little bit more recent. I know. <laughs> it was good, though. Yeah, I thought it was good. Super Bowl halftime show. What'd you like better, the halftime show, the game, or the food that you ate during the Super Bowl? Probably the game. Because the food was not good. Oh, my food was good. Well, you got, like, some gross-ass, like, I don't even know what you were thinking. I got a bratwurst burger. I just can't eat another fucking bur uh, like yeah. a cheeseburger, and their menu get just a chicken sandwich. I don't, I mean, chicken sandwich looked very deep fried. I guess a bratwurst burger good. is worse. I was trying to be adventurous a little bit. I was hoping for a place with a nice ass spread, but during the Super Bowl, it's kind of in a tough spot. You need to go somewhere where we can sit the entire game and then just leave in the middle of it. Yeah. I don't want to be in like a super crowded bar, so the only option was a place that had fucking bratwurst burgers. Well, I had a great meal, and you still like the game better. Dude, I think this football season was transformative for you, bro. No, I mean, it was just the Super Bowl. I, I thought it was a good game. I think that you turned into a football fan. The way you were talking about things, being like, fucking, see the man in the flat. I never said that. <laughs> that under route was open. <laughs> what are they running, cover two man or no, Tampa two? Words ever oh, it's inverted about. cover three. <laughs> the way you talk about football now, bro, you sound like Stephen Che. You sound like John Gruden, no, kind of. No, John Gruden not. without the racism. Definitely not. Oh, definitely not without the racism? <laughs> no. With, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> Super late last night. We were so fucking hungry to go and fuck just get any type of food. Uh, and there was just nothing because, like, all of Cincinnati was depressed as fuck and eating. closed as soon as the game ended. We ordered some goddamn Domino's. And, you like, did? Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> and I was, went to bed. I was exhausted. I know. You bailed on the Domino's. Yeah. Uh, we were just, like, sitting there trying to get Domino's. And... Uh, the Domino's is 600 feet away. It's so oh, fucking really? close. Did you we, know that? We sat for like 90 minutes waiting for the Domino's. That's brutal. And I was like, fuck this. I'm walking over to get <laughs> the Domino's. <laughs> and I walked into the Domino's, and it looked like a fucking bomb went off. It was like an auction house. 800 zombies were just like leaning over the counter being like, where's my fucking order? <laughs> oh, and they had made, it's not like they hadn't made orders. There were like five people behind the counters and they had made thousands of orders. Like the shit was just stacked to the ceilings of already made orders, but they didn't know like who to get the dominoes from. Yeah, like yeah. they didn't know who, like there was no one in charge. I was trying to talk to the guy behind the counter being like, like where is like, where is the, the shit that we ordered, yeah. like, please? And, like, he wouldn't even talk to me. And eventually they're just like, hey, like, we have an order for, like, uh, for like Charles. And I was like, I'm Charles. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, what's your last name? And I was like, fuck. So I walked back, and then I sent back Mike. I was like, dude, just wait for them to say a name and then say a last name and just fucking grab the order and get out of there. Just fucking grab the order and bail. And you know that Mike is down to do some yeah, shit yeah, like yeah. that. And so, like, five minutes later, he walked back like a conquering <laughs> hero. Somebody else's order of Domino's fucking How much food steaming. I mean, it was a couple of pies, not as much as we ordered, but, like... Yeah, that would be my fear, was that you, you say yes, and then they bring it out, and it's, like, one little small pizza. It was, like, it was two... Actually, it was two small-ass pizzas just stacked sky high with olives. It was just... Oh. All, it was, both of them had so many <laughs> black olives on them. But still, somehow, it was, like, the best-tasting pizza, just because it was it felt so hard earned. Wait, so like, what time did you guys go to bed? As when once I got the fucking Domino's, dude. Yeah. It wasn't until like after one that I that I eventually damn that I eventually went to sleep and got the Domino's. I was asleep before midnight. It was a fucking crime scene in there. The first time I left, I was so pissed. I was like, I'm getting something out of this Domino's, and I went into the the cooler and just fucking took a two liter Coke and fucking bounced. Really? I was like, I'm fucking getting something. <laughs> I, so Domino's, bro, if you're fucking watching this, dude, I got your Coke, dude. I got your two liter, bro, and I've been suckling on it, dude. I've been enjoying the hell out of it. That's unreal. It's truly fucking unreal, bro. You know what's also unreal? Dad chat. Dude, <laughs> Dad chat's back. Dude, Dad chat took a little hiatus. Dad wanted some more. They probably saw a dip in their stock price when, yeah. when son of a boy dad stopped talking about it. We stopped talking about it, but we never stopped using it. No. It broke my heart when Dad Chat wasn't on for a couple episodes because I yeah. love them yeah. and I use them. I thought we had a good thing going for a while. We were Dad Chatting all week. We couldn't have stopped Dad Chatting. We were Dad Chatting the entire time. We were Dad Chatting from Cincinnati. It's the best way to link up with your fans. Oh, yeah. 100%. They got encrypted messaging. They can delete text messages as soon as you send them. You can nuke the entire conversation if you want. It's the best way to communicate with your friends. For sure, for sure. Now you can message and share with people you know the way you normally do, but instead you could delete the messages after. 
I just said that, bro. <laughs> You got anything fucking new to add to the Go ad download tech? the app and make sure to join our page, Son of a Boy Dad, to talk about things on our show. We actually have like 2,000 people in our, th- in our dad chat now. I know. And I love communicating with them. Let's actually make it 10,000. Let's make it 10,000 by the end of tomorrow. Yeah. 10, download by dad the end chat of for iPhone and Android in the app stores right now or go to dadchat.com slash barstool to get more info and download dad chat. Yes. Download dad chat. Dude, now we have a whole new chapter of our life that's kind of opened up now that football season's over. I feel like my life is dominated by football season. Yeah. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I know that, like, it's a super busy time for, like, Big Cat and everyone. We got to go to, like, college football games, yeah. podcasting about football, you know what I mean? Link it up with my the, the boy Prime. Yeah, yeah. What are you trying to do now? I think I think we got to ramp Neighborhood Eats back up. Yeah, that would be fun. You in? Yeah. You're going to come to him? Yeah, I would definitely do that. You want to come to all of them? Sure. But when, where, where are you guys trying to go this, this, this season? A little spot called Hawaii. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> no, I don't think we could. <laughs> you don't think you could swing it? I mean, I, is it expensive as fuck to get out there? I think it is expensive to get out there, but it's also, like, very inconvenient. It's yeah. just, like, five hours to L.A., five hours to Hawaii, five hours back to five hours back for like a video you know what i mean it's not like we can wrap extra stuff in or anything (laughs) like that i don't know at some point i'm gonna go to hawaii for neighborhood eats yeah we're gonna have some good ass mahi uh, like donnie and nick and kb are trying to get out there for rediscovering i bet everybody's trying to go to hawaii it's a good ass idea anybody who has a chance to go to hawaii should be going to hawaii yeah where should i go though put me on to some food places that uh you want to travel let's we could reverse engineer it, bro. They're not going to listen to this. The powers that be, they're not going to be like, oh, they're going on a boondoggle. They're not basing neighborhood eats around where H- Sass wants to go on <laughs> hikes. But I don't know where, like, what. Lo and behold, is. we could go on some hikes. Yeah, but I don't know what food they have out there. Let's find the hike first, and then we find the food. Well, the only food that I want to do is, well, I would do any food, but, but didn't you, you guys were talking about doing seafood for a while, weren't you? Yeah, so that's where you want to do a whole seafood season, but I don't know if that's season three, and that's when we would go to Hawaii. All right. I want to do the seafood one real bad. You like seafood that much? Love seafood. I can't stand people who don't like seafood. Adults who are like, I don't eat fish. Yeah, it's gross. I don't gotta, eat pickles. I don't eat fish. We got to go to my hometown and get Island Creek oysters. They're famous. They were on 60 Minutes. Nah. Yeah, you keep on. You you don't want to try them. You don't like oysters. I do like oysters. I'll and I'll eat and try anything, especially if it's a town's delicacy. Especially if the economy of a town is based on a food. Dude, this is like this is big. They're a big deal. There's no way though. There's Dude, no look way. them up. Look them up. They're big. I feel like that's just like being like Philadelphia cream cheese. Like, oh, Philadelphia is famous for their cheese. Like, it's like a very specific kind of cheese. No, oystering is huge where I'm from. Like, half of my friends work on work for oyster companies. Which ones? Island Creek. <laughs> no, which friends? Oh, you don't know them. <laughs> but half of them work for oyster companies? Well, Bo did at one point. He did? Yeah. All right. Well, if Bo, if Bo, if you can have Bo tell me that I need to get out there, then I will do it. I, I will. But I'm thinking of like maybe a Chicago type of episode or some shit like that. Getting out to Chicago, trying to beef. Getting out to like uh, uh, somewhere in the Midwest, trying like a bratwurst or some shit. Do you fuck with bratwurst or not really? Kielbasa, sausage, Polish sausage. Really? Uh, Why? I don't like sausage. At all? No. Sausage is my go-to breakfast meat. No, uh, I, like, I like breakfast sausage. But you don't like a, like a sausage sandwich? No, when I was younger, I ate a bunch of sausage, and I got really bad food poisoning, and I have been turned off of it since then. You got to think of something that will go good with mamitas. You got to think of something that will go real good with mamitas. And when you're not you going to s- get food poisoning again, dude. Lightning can strike twice, brother. No, it's not going to. <laughs> Steal your you, stomach. Uh, when are you starting? Um, I think whenever the fuck I want. Damn, that's real. I th- maybe when it gets a little bit nicer out, when we can be drinking some sweet mamitas out in the fucking... Bro, stop plugging your stop plugging your personal ads. <laughs> <This> <laughs> person, oh, it's mamitas. Bro, I know you're in with the mamitas people. We've got fucking equity. <laughs> and on April They're flying 5th, you out to Vegas. On April 5th, you will too. <laughs> On April 5th, we're going to bring you into the Mamitas family, dude. We're gonna Stop do, saying it, bro. We're going to do a blood ritual. I'm to blur, the, blur those out. Blur my words? <laughs> yeah. You can't blur my words, dude. Mute that. We're going to do a blood blood oath with Mamitas. 
<laughs> You're gonna slice your palm and shake one. hands with John Mamitas. <laughs> the only thing I'm ever allowed to drink. <laughs> yeah, it is strictly Mamitas. We're gonna lock you into Mamitas for fucking ever. It's fun to say, isn't it? No. <laughs> yes, it is, dude. No, dude. Don't try and fucking trick me and the listener. No, bro. Don't talk shit on Mamitas, bro. All right, let's do this last ad because. Well, actually, I have plenty of time. Yeah, you do have plenty of time, dude. Stop trying to whip through. We just got through our fucking other ad. And plus, I mean, my, I'm my, p- my flight boards in an hour and a half. Yeah, and you tried to get to the airport way too early regardless. When we got to the airport going no, out didn't. to L.A., you were there before the fucking sun came up. No, I was not. I was ass naked on the toilet when no, you sent I the wasn't. text message being like, hey, I'm, I'm at the gate getting some food. Do you want anything? No, that's not I was at all literally, what happened. I arrived like I wasn't hour. ass naked on the toilet? No. Hmm? I don't know if you were. I was ass naked on the Also, but you you and Big Cat have, like, they, they fucking carry you in on a throne through security. I have realized. I'm a common, I, I, the common man, have to sit and wait in the security line like everyone else. Over the last year, I, ha- I have realized that there are, like, tiers to traveling, not only, like, private airport, regular airport, but within a regular airport, there's so many, like, tiers to traveling. Like, if you have sky priority, you log in at a different, or, like, you go in at a different place. Like, if you have the Delta Sky Lounge, you're sitting in a different type of chair. Like, everybody's sitting in a fucking bus station, pretty much, and you're upstairs in the Delta yeah. Sky Lounge, and somebody has a big-ass palm leaf waving it at yeah. you, and a fucking <laughs> concubine is giving you grapes into your fucking yeah. mouth. It's, it's incredible. There's definitely tiers to travel. I'm trying to break through to the next tier because whenever you get to another tier, you're like, wow, like there's true classism within airports. Yeah, I mean, obviously. You have to get there early as fuck and like pay your way. They like, they wheel me in. It's incredible. I feel like Hannibal Lecter. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I didn't even get there. We didn't even get there that early. It was like our flight left at like noon, 1230, I think. And like we were like, we like got through security at like 1130. We had like an hour. Nick's dumbass did get there. Nick got there at like 8.30. He ate breakfast there. I can't imagine having anxiety like that. Well, he said that he likes to go and he likes to see the kids at the airport and then it makes him not nervous because they're not nervous. <laughs> he can't just see one kid? I don't know. How many kids does he, he to need to see? around children all morning. <laughs> what the no, but he was there and he... Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> he was there and he... He has to smell all the kids. <laughs> He can't get on the on the plane till he smells the top of a little girl's yeah. head. He uh, yeah, he got there at like eight thirty in the morning, and then he ate breakfast and lunch at the airport. Yeah, you got to get out of Dodge sometimes, though. You got to get into Dodge. I just want to minimize my travel time. I'm not trying to spend too much time in LA. I'm not trying to spend too much time at the airport. No, dude, you shouldn't spend one week if you're going out, if you're going away. Spending one week in the same place in the same hotel feels like. Especially for work. For work, yeah. Like if we're at the fucking, I mean, if I, yeah, I some beautiful. Uh, if we're somewhere in Hawaii, yeah, like fucking yeah. chilling on True. a, uh, we're we're or like fucking in Europe or if something. If we're skimboarding or some yeah. shit like that, if we're somewhere in Europe, that's where I'm about to start going, dude. Yeah, but L.A. I mean, come on, dude. There's not there's not that much to do there. There's nothing to do in L.A., no. bro. That town's dead anyway. I know. It, I mean, it really is. Yeah. On that on the Thursday night. I woke up angry on Thursday the way that you woke up angry on Saturday. No, I don't think you did. I bet I woke up significantly more angry. I, I guarantee you, you didn't. I was locked in a room for a whole for the whole day, dude. There's no, there was nothing to do, nowhere to go. You could have gone home. You could have just changed your flight. No, because I just changed it like the day before. You could have changed it again. It's the company money. I didn't want to go on the company's dime. Yeah, but I didn't want to go back to New York just to fly to Cincinnati early as fuck the next morning i was so desperate to get the fuck out of dodge that i booked a flight immediately i was like i need to get the fuck home today i need to get out of here today yeah i'm leaving here as soon as possible i was angry i was depressed i was fucking bloated from in and out yeah dude i felt slow i feel so shitty still i haven't been home i haven't worn clean clothes and it shows bro yeah you stink like ass, bro. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't have... I, no one told me I was going to go to Cincinnati because you didn't tell me for some reason until after we got you got Fal- to LA. That's, that's false. No. Oh, no, that is true. It's because it's cause someone bailed. Someone else bailed, bro. So I didn't have clothes. But what clothes do you need? I guess Cincinnati clothes. Clean clothes. And it was 12 degrees yeah, here last night. Yeah, and I'm showing up in fucking shorts and a Tommy Bahamas t-shirt. Booze was shooting. He said it was colder in the gloves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was yeah that happens, though. What? It gets colder in gloves? It can get colder because they, like, freeze up. 
Really? Yeah. I'd never heard of that before, but it was like going around. I had it felt like happening. Gloves. My hands were nice and warm. I know. I tried to. I don't know why I thought it would be a funny prank, but it wasn't a <laughs> prank prank at all. I was oh, like, I'm gonna oh. get Sassy's goofy ass big gloves. They're not even. They're just like snow, like ski yeah, ski gloves. gloves. Yeah. I was, was like, pumped. He's gonna look like a fucking idiot, and you're just like the only warm one. <laughs> yeah. Everybody else's fingers my were. My feet were cold. I got double socks for myself, bro. I should have got double socks that, yeah. for you. I should have blessed you the same way that ship station blessed me, bro. Ship station, you might be like, what, ship station, how is that, how's that shit pertinent to me? If you're an entrepreneur, a fucking blonde entrepreneur, bro, if you're fucking out here trying to make some money on your own, ship station is going to be what sees you through because it's going to take the little things about what you hate about owning a small business or trying to ship things out to the people, and they're going to automate that all for you. They're going to ship everything for you in a hassle-free, worry-free environment, and you will never have to stress about shipping again, little sass. No, you won't. You can save time, save money, and save your sanity. Knowing your orders are handled and you're getting the best rates, that's got to be a good feeling. Dude, you've never shipped shit in your life. Yes, I you have. You even return clothes <laughs> when you buy them? <laughs> do, you do you ship anything? Yeah, I have. You don't even send mail, dude. No you wonder need 98% ship station. of companies that use ShipStation for a year keep using it for as long as they're in business. It's that good. <laughs> Sass, what I'm gonna do for you, I'm gonna set you up a little LLC, and we're gonna fucking we're gonna make some Sass merch. Better yet, we're gonna fucking we're gonna like sell like your that your hair when you fucking shave or some shit, Fuck or yeah. sell your dumps like that that uh, teen mom chick or something like that. Fuck but yeah. and, and we're gonna use the best way to sell your dumps, best way to sell your hair, ShipStation. Yes, sir. Ship more in less time with ShipStation. Use my offer code Sun to get sixty day free trial. That's two months free. No hassle, stress-free shipping. Just go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and type in sun. ShipStation. Make ship happen. Dude, I gotta... G- play on words. Yeah, I gotta get I gotta get the fuck home for, uh, for Valentine's Day. Yeah, well, what time's your flight? I think it's like, uh, it was three, but I'm trying to bump it up to like a one o'clock flight or some shit like that. I'm on, I'm going at 1220. Yeah, I need to get home, dude. I need to. I think I'm going to the Thunder game tonight. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, nothing like Valentine's Day. Nothing says Valentine's Day like going on a, a big group activity yeah. with a bunch of people from work. I don't know why you did that. I think that uh, I thought it was going to be something different when I signed up for yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> then Why'd I you just bail out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like bailing on plans. Well, nothing feels better than when you actually bail on plans. Yeah. But I don't like being seen to be fickle or flaky. I don't want that. Go- I don't want that going down as people's perception of me. Yeah, I could see that. I feel like people were always like, "Oh, he's gonna flake on the fucking In and Out," and I fucking I ate the In and Out. Did. But there are still ruthless people in my mentions who are like, "Why aren't you at confession right now?" Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a bunch of people like that. Fuck I think those we people. Do, they bro. said we might do them in New York, or yeah. we just might not do them ever. Yeah, I also might not do them ever. Dude, like I'm not even like a religious person, but for some reason, going into a church and like fucking with a priest on video would like turn me the wrong way i'll be like am i gonna like go to hell really that's why i would be like uh if there is a higher power i'm definitely on the bad <laughs> side now first off god takes joy in what you take joy in so if you have a perverse sense of humor then god takes joy <laughs> in that if you want to fuck with priests god is gonna smile upon that dude there's nothing that you should apologize for yeah but second of all dude they're fucking priests bro did you ever watch spotlight <laughs> <laughs> you never have seen Spotlight. You must have never seen We've Spotlight. We've talked about that movie maybe a hundred times. Well, then the I don't understand why you're still putting on the cape for a priest or something I'm like not, that. Being like, I, mean, like, I, I hope just, that I don't upset a priest. It's not about upsetting the priest. It's about upsetting what <laughs> what's above him. And what's 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 above him? Like, he, you don't I think don't that know. he knows what's in your heart? No. Also, I'm pretty sure that has to be illegal. What are you talking about, dude? Recording at a confession? Why is that Ill- illegal? You're recording yourself. And him. So? You can't see his face. You can't yeah, see anything him, about no, him. You're recording him. Dude, I, it's supposed to be a sacred area, bro. You're supposed to be telling your deepest sins. Bro, we're on 2022 time. We're asking Maybe for... Maybe you need some confession. Forgiveness, not permission. You need real con- You need real confession. I'll go to confession and confess that I fucked with a priest after I fuck with a priest. 
Oh, they're not going to like that. Dude, why are you why are you scared of them? <laughs> they want you to be scared of them. They thrive off your fear. They're not going to like that. They want that. you to tie and give trouble. your fucking billions to the Vatican so they could just fucking yeah. roll around in gold and you can feel shitty about yourself. They can wear Versace slippers and smoke cigarettes and you can like worry about fucking like cutting someone off in traffic and like, maybe you're going to hell from that <laughs> fuck that dude bro you're in big trouble you're not i'm I'll you're getting for, psychologically you. manipulated by fucking father o'malley dude i'll pray for you by the fucking monsignor <laughs> sorry father uh, I, I didn't mean to upset you bro you're embarrassing me in front of god <laughs> Like, I shouldn't even be associated with you anymore? No, bro. Fucking, you're going to have to be associated. You're, you're going to come to confession with me, and we're going to no, we're gonna pull jackass stunts on these <laughs> priests. <laughs> the priest's going to come out the confessional, and we're going to send a jugs machine with a watermelon and fucking blast it at him. <laughs> we're going to drop water balloons from the fucking that would be awesome. top of the church on some of these priests. They're going to be filled with silly string and fucking gorilla glue. That would be ill. We're going to get these fucking priests high as fuck. Off the fucking Packwoods. Well, I think you can smoke. I think priests can smoke weed. Did you throw out a bunch of dope in uh, California? So much. Why did you throw it out? Because someone gave it to me, and I was like, I don't need this. Why don't you just br put it in your backpack, bring it back to New York, and fucking sell it on the street corner I was thinking about shit. bringing it back to New York, but then I was like, yeah. So why why that you stuff's, yeah? Like, I don't even like smoking weed, but, like, let alone that stuff. It's too strong. The weed out there is bionic. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't need this. I was like, if I had the amount of weed that this kid gave me, if I kept it, it would have lasted me over a year. I promise you. I think it does just grow in like people's hand, gardens like, like tomatoes. Handful. Yeah, they, people always have handfuls that yeah. they're just trying to offload yeah. on you. Meanwhile, on the East Coast, people are like going like door to door, like weed, do you yeah. have any weed? On the East Coast, you have to go and buy it from like a sketchy ass bodega. And people and literally it'll, have like it'll trash have, like, bags, smurfs all over the <laughs> all over the case, yeah. something weird as fuck. Yeah, some weird si signage that like appeals to children. Yeah, or people who are high as fuck. Or it'll be like the Care Bears, the Teletubbies. It's or some always shit. shit like that. Yeah, I don't understand. I, I always, guess I always see it in my apartment because dudes and Owen always buy it from whatever one of those people. Whoa, bro! Don't fucking dox your brothers like that. Nah, no, they're cool. You they, should have brought it back for them then. If they're cool, you should have been cool and brought them back some dope from it Cali. Felt, it felt weird. It felt bad. Like, it, like I, I don't like, I don't care. It was free, but it's like. Did you throw it in the trash? No, I threw it. I flushed it. Bro, you know that's a flower from the earth, bro. You know that you're spitting in fucking Mother Nature's face. <laughs> you're worried about what God thinks of you. Maybe you should worry about. I actually fucking... kept some of it. I snuck. I snuck two joints across the border. <laughs> the California border. Yeah. You put them, uh, deposited them rectally. Yeah. <laughs> And if it, I was like, if I smoke these, this, these will last me months, literally. You are a slow smoker. But flushing it down the toilet, what, dude? Yeah. I'm glad that we didn't end two minutes ago when I was about to, so I could hear that absolutely preposterous yeah. fact that you fucking flushed your weed down the toilet. Where, what you could have just left it, it? left it on the counter for whoever's working housekeeping so they can fucking take it. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't thinking. Dude, it was just like... You flushed your blessings down the toilet. It was so much. Coach Prime the whole like the that, water dude. the water was just covered with weed. <laughs> it like was it was like a full it was like a lily pad. It was floating back up. Dude, it was so much weed. You clogged the weed, it was so or yeah. you clogged the toilet with weed, it was just so sticky. Yeah. That's fucking embarrassing, bro. I know. I shouldn't have done it. But I honestly I'll, I'll never think about it again. Oh, I hope people bring it up to you forever. I don't give a fuck if they do. Go get your flight, bro. Bro. We want to end now. You want to talk some what more? What time is it? I should probably How long have we been going? Uh, 48 years. 48? Well, we can just do two episodes this week. We'll do two episodes this week. All right, thanks, guys. I got to go catch a flight. All right, peace.